Hi, welcome back to Mechanic Garage. I'm going to start stripping the outer panels off it. All the paperwork has been filled in to get it UK registered. So now I can start taking it apart. Photos have been taken, etc. so they can identify the car and make sure it is where it says it is. And then uh, start taking it to bits. I've already got the interior and everything out. I started that the other night because it was jammed in the garage because the Skoda was out on the uh, in the way. But basically 20 minutes, the entire interior is stripped. So what I've found so far, I'm pretty happy with because it's 1978, so it's not a new car. They weren't the uh, best build quality anyway. There's some corrosion across that front edge. I know underneath it needs some work. It's had a bit of paint here and there. But in these corners here, ignore all the peeling paint, but I was expecting to see floor through there. And on both sides, it's actually okay. They will need some work, I'll guarantee I'll clear them out, knock it to bits a little bit, and you'll find holes that crumble and fall to bits. So, as I mentioned in the other video about cleaning the engine bay up, where uh, it's all sorted. I am going to strip everything, I'm going to repaint it because it, there's too much of it that's a bit ropey. And if I didn't have to change this wing, which I have done, I probably wouldn't have done. I would have probably just cleaned it up and left it in the patina that it is, and it's how it is. It's an honest car back from the, uh, the time when it was. But because I've had to change that wing, it's going to need a coat of paint. Now, the good thing is, it won't need to be the best coat of paint in the world, so I can do a, a quick paint job on it and it won't look out of place. Because uh, if they're too shiny, like I said before, they're a bit of a, uh, a bit odd because they were never meant to be that. You do see them in there, they do look nice, some of them, uh, modified and uh, everything done, but I think I'm going to try and keep it, sort of in keeping with what it was meant to be. As you can see, there's not an awful lot to them. You get the seats and everything out. You can see straight through right to the boot. And uh, sport version, because it's got a strut brace. No, nah, that's standard anyway, otherwise they'll fold in half. So, uh, yeah, really, get these panels off. They only screw on along the top edge. I didn't really see it on the last one, I don't think. Peel the rubber strip out and you expose these screws for the trim. You take those off and then you set a set of screws that hold this panel on and it's just seen sealed all the way around except down here where it's starting to peel away a little but uh, if i can get that done get the dash out and uh, i need the glass out but i'm wary about doing it because i do not want to break any because side windows you can probably get but the front and rear screens especially the windscreen probably not so good Granted, the, the rubber's quite soft. You can manipulate it and get it out, but the, they don't bend very well. They just go crack and then it's game over. Right, taking apart side of things with the panels and everything is quite a long job. So what I'll do, I'll put a bit of time lapse and I'll cut things together so it's not quite so long. Um, so what you're going to see now probably took me all day. But hopefully it won't be too bad. I'll try and put the camera in place so you can see what's going on. Um, and if not, it's just going passing you by right quite quickly. But a lot of this sort of job takes so long, you need to uh, condense it a lot. bit of a faff getting that off because there's a few of the screws didn't want to play but once they look them loose they're off quite easily there's a lot of oh yeah a lot of this sealant stuff is all dried out now it's what used to bond it all on but that's all replaceable when you put it all back together you can see where the wax has got it's good where wax hasn't got not as good 
but this is uh, fairly intact. I'm going to take it, start digging now. Not too horrendous. I don't want to go too mad and get myself all stressed out with it. Seems that it's going to be basically all the way around the edge where the panel's attached is where the problems are. Because there's a little bit of a hole there. You clean all this up, scrape all the loose off, get rid of all this uh, old glue. Because where it's stuck, like there, the paint is absolutely perfect. The original. Ugh. Yeah, there's a bit of rust crept through here, but there, where it's come off, it's absolutely perfect. Oh, I'm quite pleased with that. Okay, so it's not brilliant, <laughs> but I'm pretty sure, well you can buy new ones of these, I don't want to go to that extent if I can help it, but then again, is it worth just banging a complete new one in, rather than trying to weld up an edge and having to make it and make it fit the arch? You might be able to get repair panels for these, I don't know, but this is it, this is what I was expecting to find. It's not as bad as it could be, so... We'll carry on with it, get them all off, because once you get all that lot off, you can see what you're dealing with, and start with the uh, welder. Stand like that. Hmm, this side is actually a lot more solid than the other one that came off with the bodywork. Still stuck that well. Strange considering the other side fell apart. Size much the same. 
just where the where the body's joined. I think any of them at this age will be like this. Shows where you need to put the rust protection back in when you build it again. project than it looked initially but then they always are because this bit hides behind the outer panels which don't rust so then the rest of it does rot even though it doesn't look like it yeah, that rear edge is a bit crusty sealant that bond and stuff quite know why all the wiring's been chopped off. I'm not entirely sure unless it's had new lights fitted. But let's face it, there's not exactly a lot of wiring to rebuild. Uh, to replace, sorry. Not like the boot. <laughs> yeah. This is what they like. It's basically a, a tin shell wrapped in the uh, Duraplast. But, uh, it's a bit crispy, it's really around the edge, but then it's, to me it's what it's expected really. This is what we had before. A little bit of rot in that bottom corner, but the actual main pillar and everything's good. The wing's good. Straighten the dents out. Get the door skin off next. And that's one side done. Get the, maybe get the roof off, I don't know. It might, they tend to rot inside because the roof leaks. It collects it all in the channel and it runs down the inside the pillars. So, this trim's got to come off anyway for uh, the paint in it. So, I guess it probably will come off. Well, that was a uh, waste of time lapse. It didn't work. Must have got to press play. Uh, records. But yeah, that's the uh, door skin off. That was a bit uh, faffy to get off, but you missed all that. Well, that's as uh, far as I'm getting today. The, uh, yeah, it's got a little bit lighter. I didn't get around to doing this side. I ended up taking all the glass out instead. It's... Uh, it's not actually that bad, yeah. Okay, around the edge is frilly. But that's to be expected. That little bit there is not ideal. But it's an easy repair because it's all hidden away. But the... Uh, the main rock part is the bit that all this entire front subframe bolts to. It basically sits across the front under there and you can see that it's quite crusty there. But... The entire front is mounted there. There's no support whatsoever at the front end. Now, if you watch that steering column bit there, as I lift and lower the car, that shouldn't move. That's how much flex there is in the under underneath. But I knew that anyway. I'd seen that before I bought it. The rest of it now 
is uh, get the doors off, get the glass out of them, get all that stored away properly so I don't damage it. At the minute it's all scattered all over the grass. Get the other bits off, get the bumpers off, and then uh, when it's time to get some welding done, first thing I do is tackle the under, major underside, which will mean rolling it onto its side. I'm not laying underneath it. And uh, once it's empty, unbolt that subframe, roll it over. It's not a lot to it, to be honest. Hopefully, be able to fit in a garage because be enough enough space. And it's about the same height as it is wide, so it won't take up much more space. Just be at a funny angle. Build a little wooden frame thing to cradle for it to sit in. I've got some dollies to roll it on. But realistically, not much more to do to take it apart. But get the bumpers off, get this front subframe off, get the rear suspension off. And whilst it's upside down, as whilst it's on its side, get everything done, get the entire underside, underside finished, and then drop it back down and do, excuse me, do these edge bits that I can get to. Like there, there's a bit, bit of a hole in the end of the sill, but that comes with the main engine, the main support across the front. It's all one piece, right back to about here, I think. So that section that's rusty is all one big piece to get replaced I mean there's a lot of rust treatment needs doing little little bits of repairs like this piece here is a bit thin but then the bit next to it is like rock solid it's actually that, that's had mastic on so it hasn't been exposed whereas this bit was exposed to moisture and stuff so but no anyway I'm a bit uh, tired now, so I'm just rambling on. The uh, roll it back in the garage, have a clean up because there's a lot of crap everywhere. Still got the engine in the boot. I need to put that somewhere out of the way. But uh, yeah, there you go. That's what you get for just taking stuff to bits. I got all the guttering off as well. I've changed my mind about taking the roof off. It doesn't fasten on how I thought. It's actually crimped. The, the side frame's rolled over and pinches onto the roof there, so that's going to stay. However, the mastic in here was mostly all right, but that's where the water gets in and it rots them from the inside because it collects, runs down here into this channel and then just rots all this frame. You're usually quite bad for that bit. Where's the light? This bit here and all along the inside. But this is like new, so it's perfect. Well, it's far from perfect, but it's all right. Just means I can give it a good resealing while it's in bits. And then uh, that'll be it. And I got all the glass out without actually breaking any. It was uh, not the nicest few minutes of it teasing and easing the glass out because windscreens and that, they don't tend to uh, give you any warning. They don't creak much, they just go crack. <laughs> but, right, I'm going to have a tidy up. And, uh, yeah, rambling on again as usual. And uh, I'm going to have tidy it up, put everything away. And uh, hopefully start making progress with it soon, rather than all the deconstruction. But you've got to do that to start with anyway, so. Right, thanks for watching. Hope you liked the video. It's probably gone on a bit too long. They usually do when you sort of... Uh, piecing them together, but never mind. Right, thanks very much. I'll catch you in another video. Cheers.